Hey everybody, it's Manny. I run Neon Television. I wanted to make a statement, I guess, about Neon TV um, and about my plotting. Um, I've been working on Neon Television for since like 2013. Like it's it's a, it's been about seven years, and I didn't think that I would be doing it that long um, because it was always fun. But even though it's fun to me, like, I take me on TV, like, I treat it like it's a real, like, production, almost. That's really my aesthetic, like, making everything really realistic. Because y'all see, I make, like, 40-minute episodes, like, I feel like a real studio. Because I wasn't taking this channel seriously, I was just like, no, like, I don't want to cut the fun by talking about something serious. But I've been thinking about making a statement for the past two years. It's not sitting right within my heart, so I need to, like, definitely talk about this. Darker skinned people are often edited badly on reality TV. Um, they're used for like angry or ghetto stereotypes. Like we see this in real life a lot on Big Brother. There's whole studies on it. If you want links to it, I'm happy to give them. I'm a lighter skinned black person and I wasn't aware of, you know, colorism or the stereotypes on dark skinned people when I started producing. And looking back on Brazil, like I know a lot of people love Brazil, but for me, like, it's weird looking back at it because I feel like I plotted Georgia in a way that was really ignorant, um, and I really, I want to apologize for that. I feel like for that to be the only dark-skinned girl on the cast, and she's the quote-unquote ghetto one, like, the one to fight, like, I don't know, that's not a good look to me. I've had other dark-skinned people on later seasons, but... Even then, I don't think that, like, I don't think that undoes the damage unless I, like, actually talk about it and say sorry. I'm sorry um, for making for making that the only dark-skinned person in Brazil and for representing her in that way. For me, Neon Television, is it's like, it's like my baby. It's, it's like an art form. And how I process things in, like, real life, like, you see it through my show. So that's why I'm always willing to talk about social issues. Like, that's why, like, on Rewind, like, we were going to talk about a lot of social issues. But I, I was trying not to take it seriously. But that also means I need to, like, be upfront about behind the camera. And trust on the bay, like, they're going to be talking about a lot of, like, social issues. And colorism is going to be one of them. So... I'm unsure if I'm making another season because this channel is like so time consuming. But if I do decide I'm going to make another show, I'm definitely like, I'm committed to having more dark skin representation and like in a way that's actually like, obviously like I'm producing reality TV. So like, of course there's negatives to reality TV, but I'm definitely committed to like not perpetuating those stereotypes. First off, thank my good sister Kira because she was really the one who like brought it to me um, and said like, Manny, you've... <laughs> You should say something about this because like, it's one thing to think it, but it's another thing to like be about it and be about that action and actually step up and say like, I'm sorry. I really do appreciate all the fans, all the support, all the love. A part two to this conversation, I'm seeing a lot of like remarks about Antonio and Malachi, who are obviously like, the darkest skinned people on Bad Boys Club The Bay. I want to check those too. Like some fans, like that's just the language they use as like form of humor, but it rubbed me the wrong way a little bit, like, seeing things like, oh, Malachi stings, or, like, Antonio looks like he's poor. I'm like, um, that ain't it, so I, I wanna, I wanna clock those things right now, but that's it.